next week's weekend chat could very well be my last weekend chat in this apartment. What is up guys? It's T. Kyle here. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, Super Bowl or whatever that is is happening this weekend. I don't know. Goal. <laughs> As always, except for last week, I have my Dunkin' Donuts not sponsored. I need so many of these today because I have a migraine. But yeah, I have uh, some crazy news to be talking about with you guys today. And so um, whatever this headline is, is not clickbait. It is um, I'm probably going to make it making a huge life change because that is what may be happening as of Monday. So... If you've been following along in here, you know that there's like a little saga happening in my apartment. I have uh, applied for a new one and I find out on Monday if I've been accepted. I've heard that this landlord is um, very picky and very specific about like paperwork, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, it's a very uh, great building, very well kept. Uh, it's rent stabilized. So I was like, you know what? I like that this this landlord is being particular because <laughs> mine right now is not. So, okay, so we need to buckle up for this one. So I have had a week. <laughs> um, the beginning of the week, I had my concert that I went to, I think... I think after this last week's weekend chat, I had my concert. It was incredible. I had such a good time. It was like, I was on such a high. And then, you know, when you have like something really good and then, so then it automatically was like a low after that. Cause I was like, ugh, well now I have to wait till May until my next one. But then all throughout the week, I, it, there was just nonstop with this like whole upstairs neighbor thing. And we had a 14 hour work day. On Wednesday, we just had like a really weird schedule. And so to be constantly like woken up, the one one night it was like 6 a.m. I had just gotten home at like three and then was woken up three hours later and it was just like, oh my God. Um, so it's just been like a wild week. And the reason why I wanted to share the story is because it was a really crazy week, but then I had this like come to Jesus, come to God in a moment at the end of the week. And it really just, like, pulled me out of this, like, funk I was in with the help of my friends. Um, they know who they are. Let me take my jacket off. It was, like, freezing in my in here before. I left, slept my, ugh, I slept with my window open last night and then forgot to close it. And I was, like, woke up and I was, like, bleh. Um, okay, so let's get into this story. And, like, we'll go through it. So... I have been contemplating the idea of moving for some time now, before any of this shit happened. When I first moved here, the first four years, I was working a, um, what would you call it? Not like a normal job, but like a, a nine to five schedule. I worked, it was like 10 to 6.30. So this build, the building I'm in right now is next to two schools. So I'm sandwiched in between two playground schoolyard. So there's one literally right outside next to this building, like right there. Like I could play, I could play fetch with, with the girls out here. I could be like, hey sis. You know, that's how close it is. It's like literally right there. And then on the other side over here, there is a big, like half block schoolyard. And for some reason, the schools here have recess from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I don't know. It's just, they're always outside. So for the longest time, that was fine because I was at work. So by the time I got home, there was no one there. So it was, I was only here at night and it was quiet. So, you know, it was perfect. And what I actually used to do was I got the schedule. This is like, this probably sounds crazy, but like, whatever, it's smart. Um, I actually got the schedule from the school to find out when their holidays were. And then I would take my personal days off, the days that they didn't have school, so that I could chill and it would be quiet all day. Bitch. Um, 
So then it moved, then I moved to freelance from here. And that's where the first, that's the first time where it was like, oh, this is, this is a problem. And I, I survived about a year there, here, not there, here doing it freelance because obviously I, my office was right there, girl. This is where I worked as a freelancer and it was, it was bad. And so that year I actually decided to move and I had, and I don't know if I've shared this story. I don't think I have with you guys just cause it's like, it's literally such a long story, but I promise I will tell it when I like, when she's feeling good and like, you know, everything is settled, <laughs> I will sit down and share the story. But basically the year that I was freelance at the end of that, I made the decision to leave this apartment and my landlord knew it. And, um, I had picked out a new building, not in this state. I was leaving New York and no one knew this except for like two people. And then that was literally like th that the week before my appointments to go book this new apartment was when watch what happens live snatched me by my wig and was like, Hey, what are you doing? Do you want to come work here? Like literally the, like they snatched me within days of me deucing out of Manhattan. So I was like, obviously, hello. I, I mean, I said yes. So I stayed and then, um, now I work the second shift. So, well, is it second shift? I don't know. What are they called these days? It's not great. Technically, it, I guess it is graveyard during the winter months because graveyard means you work and it's all dark out the whole time. And so when I go in at six, it's dark. Um, so it's like second graveyard-ish. Sometimes 12 hour shifts, sometimes 14 hour shifts, uh, sometimes very long shifts. So it has been a problem here because of the schools. So before any of this happened, there was a problem here because during the day, you know, and that sounds so, so uh, like blah to a lot of people to be like, oh, well, I sleep till noon. And people are like, oh, oh my God, like that must be so nice. And like, blah, and I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> you realize I'm at work till 2 a.m. Like it, most people who go to like get home at six, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, there's always a give and a take. So to get a full night's rest after a shift, I would sleep in. I would, to most people, sleep in. For me, it's just like get a full eight hours. So that was a struggle. That has been a struggle. And I had been contemplating moving, but you know, we were, we had just gotten for season 14, I was like, well, like, you know, what's going to happen with this? Like, are we going to get renewed for just year by year? I didn't know what to do. So this past November, I had to decide what I was going to do. Basically, we have to decide 90 days in advance. I realized watching this back, I didn't explain. My lease renewal, they give us 90 days in advance to decide if we want to stay for another year or not. So that is the it I'm talking about. My lease renewal deciding on that. Okay. So last November, I hesitated. My gut told me not to do it. And that's kind of like, the reason why I'm sharing this story is like, I was like, do I even, I was writing my notes and I was like, do I even share the story? Do I sound like some spoiled asshole who's like complaining about dogs barking? You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just like beating myself up over it. I'm like, am I just being like a complainer or whatever? But then I was thinking about it and I was like, no, like I, like I, on this channel, as you guys know, have been sharing my health journey over the past year. I've been sharing, you know, my my story, I guess, of just like taking risks and taking leaps and seeing what the hell happens and, you know, moving and like making a change like that is huge for a lot of people. And trusting your instincts, trusting your gut. I've always shared that. And I didn't do that. I Last November, I hesitated like, crazy and I actually last uh, normally I would hand in the thing by November 1st I asked for 30 days I said can I have another 30 days to like make this I totally hesitated and then we got renewed for three years which is amazing 
And I was just like, I don't know what to do. And I just, I just signed it and was like, I'll figure this out later. You know, I just like pushed it away. I completely disregarded my gut feeling and I just signed it and I threw it in the mailbox and I regretted it. And then all this stuff started happening. My ceiling flooding, my toilet broke, the elevator broke down for six weeks. There was someone um, tried to break into our building and like I got home the one night at like 2.30 and the front door was, and I, maybe I'll insert a picture here. I don't know if I want to because I think it says like my address, but it was crazy. I was like, I didn't know glass could bend like that. Like literally it was just this, I don't know if it was a fist, if it was an elbow, what the hell it was, but it was literally like this deep this hole was like, it was like, this like someone had like elbowed trying to get in the building. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then um, icing on the cake was this two weeks ago was, you know, this letting in these, this woman who has dogs and just her, her disregard for that um, has been really irritating. And also, okay, this is like me injecting, like I, cause I just started editing. Also, you know how I just was telling y'all about how like things just keep happening? There is something going on. I don't know if it's like below me or like whatever, but there are two people that are like fucking raging on each other. Not like, not like, you know, raging, raging, but like screaming. Like all I heard was like, you fucking motherfuck. I don't know if you, I'm like scared to move. I was like, are they below me? Are they like diagonal? I don't know where they are, but that's also been happening for the past two weeks. Girl, I'm telling you, shit has just been happening. I'm like scared to move and go back to my computer to edit. Just wanted to throw this in there, you know, just for, for memories. <laughs> He's like right outside my window, you guys. Holy shit, I'm so scared. He's below me. I don't want to move. This is, I, I feel like it's it's time and I am, well, I mean, we'll see what happens. If, it, if I get it, I get it and we're moving and we're gonna see where that takes us. Me, um, I say us, I don't know why, like just me, whatever. And if not, then we, I'll see, you know, what happens next. But um, I just kind of felt like it was, you know that Oprah, this sounds cheesy, but I've always listened to this and, and followed this, but you know how Oprah talks about whispers in life? And it's basically your intuition is what I believe is your gut and it kind of tells you things and it guides you and then things happen in your life where you see signs that kind of, you can't really explain, you know? Do you ever have moments like that where you're like thinking about something and then a car will go by or you'll see, you'll, for some reason, you'll just think to turn and look and there's a poster that has like something to do with what you were thinking. You Do you ever have those moments? I feel like I have them a lot here in New York just cause there's a lot of like signage and stuff. And so this was one of those things. And it was like, she, she says, if you don't listen, that you're going to start to these whispers. They start getting louder and louder and louder and louder. And then I think that her last quote is something like, if you don't listen to it, eventually it becomes, it feels like you're being hit over the head with a brick. <laughs> and this week, I feel like I've been hit over the head with numerous bricks because I just have not been able to sleep. I've been doing everything like I normally do, meditating, 
relaxing. Um, I even was trying earplugs and then I wound up with an ear infection. That was another thing. Um, I, I was trying, trying things and it just wasn't working. This all has just happened so fast. It was 14 hour day Wednesday, called this broker Wednesday night, saw the apartment Thursday and was like ready to throw down. I was like, what do you want? Like, let's do this. I've got money. I like, you know, that sounds obnoxious, but like, you know what I mean? Like you, you have to, you have to be like that in New York. If you want something, you gotta be like, here's my checkbook. What do you want? You know, application, let's go. I like had my paperwork in my bag. I was ready to go. And um, by the end of the day, all my stuff was in. So we'll see. And, um, oh, right on cue, there she goes. The other thing I was thinking too, cause I was going, you know, panicking back and forth. Like, did I make the right decision? Did I make the right decision? What, what happens if I get accepted and I have to move? Oh my God, what am I doing? Um, I, I, I realized that I, I got this apartment the same way. I was casually looking. I came and saw this place and I walked in and I just felt like that's it. And I remember saying, that I was like, let's go, let's do it. And I took the leap and I, I've been here seven years. Um, and I had the same feeling when I saw this place. Just, I, I walked in and I like, I saw my couch. It was like, I had this vision <laughs> when I walked in. I was like, I see my couch there. It, I actually, honestly, my, the first thing I saw was my couch and my Xbox, <laughs> which whatever. I like, I just remember walking in and being like, oh my God, that's where my couch is going to go with my TV stand and my Xbox. And I could just like see myself sitting there. And I was like, wow, like I, I could just see my stuff there when I went. And that's why I, I did it. I, my gut feeling kicked in and was like, this is, this, this, this came for a reason. And if I don't get it, I don't get it. But if I don't get it, you know, I, I was thinking, you know, what happens if I don't get it? But one of the biggest things, about, just even bigger than like moving and the paperwork and blah, 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 and all the technical shit was allowing myself to make that decision and allowing myself to recognize what isn't working and what I can change and what I should change. And that's, that's, that's huge. It's just even just recognize and make the decision to leave is half the battle. So we will see. I was like also thinking, I'm like, do I even share this story? Because am I gonna sound like, you know, I told you guys I have Irish guilt. It's like this thing where I'm like, I start feeling guilty about everything and I'm like, you know, am I just, I, I, I cause I do, I do like to practice gratitude. And so I will try and take time and be like, and every day and be like, I'm grateful for one thing a day. Or I think about one thing that happened to me that day that I'm grateful for. And just coming off of my health, this health stuff, um, I, I really felt like this is, this is the conclusion I came to. And I know that this is like just my own personal, like whatever situation, but even maybe if I can help someone else who maybe is struggling with a similar, you know, if you're in a relationship that you need to get like something big or you want to move or it's a job that you want to get out of or like some kind of big life change and you can't make that decision because you're, you're comfortable that that's the biggest thing is like I, I feel even though there's things that are preventing me from sleeping and waking me up and causing stress there's still like a safety com comfort here and breaking that is hard so what I said to myself was my current situation with my work schedule just does not, does not work well with the location of this building. For someone who works during the day and, you know, is gone from nine to five or nine to six, this apartment will be perfect for them. Oh, my nose is itching. Does that mean someone's talking shit about me? What is, a, what is that urban legend? Legend, I don't know. So what I was saying was, I came to the, the realization that like, I can't jeopardize the work I just did with my health because the biggest part of it was sleep, 
was getting my sleep under control and my eating under control. And sleep and diet go hand in hand with each other. And working nights is just like another challenge. So for me to, to finally grapple that and then have it jeopardized what is, you know, not, not good. So I realized, you know what? It's okay. It's just, this is just not the, the right location for me right now with the given circumstances. If I, if I, if we didn't get renewed last year and I was, I probably would have been working like a, you know, design job or something, you know, normal 10 to six hours, I would have stayed and it would have been fine. And I would have been like, you need to get her to carpet. But with this, it's just not a fight I'm looking to, to make. There were two other signs that I had this past week that kind of helped me with this decision. And um, I have, can you guys see it on here? Let me see. Oh, you kind of can. So if you look over there, I think that's it, right? Oh, there they go, upstairs, right on cue. Um, I have a poster on my, my door. And I've had that there. I think the entire time I've li lived here, it's been there for years, I've kept that poster up. And I keep it on my door because whenever I'm feeling upset or anxious or nervous or down and I have to continue my, go, you know, continue my day, go to work, go do this, do that, do whatever, I stop before I leave and I like just read it. And it gives me like a just, um, I don't know, just like a quick, um, reassurance for the day. And I'll read it to you guys. I'll... Can you hear the, the footprints? That's... So, the two signs I had this week. This poster was one. Then I'll share with you guys a story about that. Um, what happened there. Uh, so anyway. This is your life. Do what you love. And do it often. If you don't like something, change it. If you don't like your job, quit. If you don't have enough time, stop watching TV. If you are looking for the love of your life, stop. They will be waiting for you when you start doing the things you love. Stop overanalyzing. Life is simple. All emotions are beautiful. When you eat, appreciate every last bite. Open your mind, arms, and heart to new things and people. We are united in our differences. Ask the next person you see what their passion is and share your inspiring dream with them. Travel often. Getting lost will help you find yourself. Some opportunities only come once. Seize them. Life is about the people you meet and the things you create with them. So go out and start creating. Live your dream and wear your passion. Life is short. And I have had that on my door for the longest time. And so that was like the first sign that I have because I remember back when I quit my job in like 2014, um, I remember stopping at my door and having this moment and I just read it and I was like, if you don't like something, change it, quit. Okay, let's make this, this change, this leap. And I took the leap and I made it out okay. And same thing the other day. I said, you know what? I don't like this. This isn't working for me. I'm going to change it. And the second sign I had this week <laughs> was, girl, this fucking, she's playing fetch with the dogs at 1 a.m. the other night. And like, do you guys, can you, see? maybe not. So, my, my apartment goes like this. It's like a bi-level. So this is like where I am, where I'm sitting like right now is this. And then there's steps. And then that is like down there. So the ceiling is like boom, boom, boom. Kind of like a whatever. And um, the, the floor, I mean, this building is like old as shit. And it's just, I don't know what it is, but like, even if I were to like tap on my ceiling right now, it just, it sounds like, it's like boom, 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 boom. It's so echo. Like, it's just, I don't know what wood or whatever the hell is it's weird it's like a weird skilling thing going on here um 
And so the other night, it was just, she's literally, it, you know the sound of a tennis ball when it bounces on a wood floor? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. And like, I'm like, I was like, what the fuck time is it? And I was like, it is 1 a.m. And it was just back forth. And you just heard like, like all the way up here, then back, running down the stair, back, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, this girl is really playing fetch on the floors that she still has not put anything down on at one in the morning on a weeknight. And then that was kind of like, I had like this moment where I was like, you know what? This is just somebody who has no regard for the people around them. You know what I mean? Because even if you, even if you did have your floors covered, 1 a.m. on a weeknight, like it's kind, that's kind of like, if it were like 6 p.m., I'd be like, eh, 7, eh, 8, eh, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're pushing it. But one in the morning, I was like, wow, shit. So that was another thing that I kind of was like, you know what, this is, this is, I accepted that this is someone who has no regard for the whatever. She knows that it's a nuisance. She knows that it's state law that you need to have your carpets, carpets or, or rugs, the floor needs to be covered um, 80%. It's like a state law. She knows that. No regard for it at all whatsoever. I was like, you know what? Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my situation. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to change it. So we'll see. Um, I was, I thought honestly that this video, I was going to be like sobbing in it because, but I think I got that out yesterday because I was thinking, well, maybe if I start talking about it, <laughs> um, I was also thinking like how, how many memories I have here and just how, um, through all the chaos in my life over the past few years, or not few years, but like you know, we all have ups and downs. Like you guys know, I've had ups and downs on here and I'm human like everyone else. And through all the downs, like this has been my, my safe spot. So it is also, it, it was hard to be like, okay, like leaving that. But um, then I was thinking about it last night and I was like, you know what? My safe spot, and this is probably why I saw it when I went to the, see this place. The first thing that I saw my safe spot has been my couch. Like, my couch here, curling up on my couch with my blanket that I have had for years, and my TV that I've had since I've had th that TV. She's been with me through college. My first sublet, she came with me here. She's still going. I almost got a new TV like a few weeks ago and then I just felt bad because I was like, is that weird to say? But I'm like, she works and she has been with me through all my apartments and she's cute and she's small and it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just was like, I don't need to get rid of you because you work and I don't need a bigger TV that's like bougier and like whatever and like HDMI, like 1080p smart TV. Like, I don't need that. She works just fine. My couch is comfortable. I had my couch, my blanket, and I was playing Xbox last night. And I said, you know what? If these three things come with me wherever I go, I will feel like home, you know? And it gave me comfort. And uh, that that's sort of like another good thing. I was like, you know what? If all else fails, you know, these three things can come with me and I will feel comf comfortable. And so, you know, hey girls, um, not that I'm like, not that I'm like, does that sound, I feel like that sounds like, oh, something a hoarder would say, like, oh, like blah, blah, blah. But like, have you guys ever read that book by Marie Kondo? It was like, um, oh shit, what's the book called? Decl it's not, it's like about the, about decluttering or whatever. Um, Sparks, what, what the hell is it called? I don't, I, I can see the cover. I can't think of the name of it. But um, it's basically about getting rid of things in your apartment that you don't love and things that don't bring you joy. And so if you don't like something, you get rid of it. And it's about creating this home that is filled with things that you love. And 
I love my TV. I love my couch. I love my blanket. Those are like three of the things, you know. I, um, I love my new desk setup. You know, I, it just is what it is. And so that's where we're at. Um, I don't know if this was like an interesting weekend chat at all. Uh, I feel like next week's weekend chat will be very different. Wait a minute. This next week's weekend chat could very well be my last weekend chat in this apartment. <laughs> like, um, yeah, wow, that's that's a thing. Because I would, this, this new place, I would be out in two weeks, which is also crazy. I mean, I would, I would keep, I would pay out my last month here, but I would be able to move into the new place in two weeks. Um, so, it's going to be a crazy year, y'all. I <laughs> might be moving, going back to LA. I turned 30. You know what? It's a new chapter. It's a new a new decade, a new year. <sighs> what the fuck is going on in here on this day? Um, <laughs> oh, they're back. There you go. <laughs> what a bitch. Like, come on. Also, the other thing I forgot to tell you guys too was um, I ran into the other day coming out of the elevator. It was like, whoop, me. And then we were, I was like, mm. it was like literally like Miss Minnie, Miss Juicy, like, so what's up? And we we're just like, not even a peep. I just got, this was like, this was it. It was, and I was like, oh, oh, the burn. Bitch. I know that's mean to say, but I don't care. You're an inconsiderate human. Oh my God, I just had to hit my restart button again for the, this might be like a 40 minute long video. Okay, the sun is shining. That's a perfect, no, oh God, now I'm blind because I just fucking looked at the sun. Is it playing? Okay. Oh. Anyway, the sun is shining, the dogs upstairs are running, and maybe this is a sign that by the end of next week, it'll be a new dawn and a new day. And we are, we, we stand making better, smarter changes in our lives to suit our situations and, um, yeah. So that's all for this weekend chat. Thank you guys again for dealing with my chaotic whatever the hell is going on this month. But I'm just keeping it real. I'm letting you guys know what the girl's dealing with. And uh, I'll see you. Well, follow me on Instagram because if I, I, I've been having fun with Instagram stories. They're just so, I just am so stupid with them. And uh, if I get this apartment on Monday, I will probably put something up on Instagram first. And then, because I, you know, I, I don't, my next weekend chat won't be till next Saturday. So follow me on Insta if you want to know what happens or Twitter. Uh, and yeah, so this is what happens. So um, they're running like back and forth, back and forth, both of them like constantly. And then um, during the weekdays, I've noticed the past two weeks, um, they bark all, so it's like, I've got the school, school, screaming, and then every 30 minutes or so, they, um, they bark upstairs. So they bark for like five minutes, they calm down for like 30, they bark again, I don't know what it is that they're barking at, but from like nine until, uh, pff, until I leave for work. So, yeah, that's kind of, uh, you know, it's, so it's not even, even, not just like the the carpeting with like that she clearly has not put down. Um, it's also the barking. The barking's like, oh, so it's like school, rough, rough, rough. Uh, and I love dogs. Don't get me wrong, but not on my head, not in my face, not in my when I'm trying to sleep. So I will <laughs> see you guys soon. Bye, guys. It's Britney, bitch. Shake your
your tits. Dunkin' Donuts.